Hi, I'm Eric. As you can tell, I'm an avid cyclist, but I'm also the lead product manager for Google products on the world's first Android phone, the T-Mobile G1. I'm here to tell you about the Google goodies that come preloaded on this phone. There's Search, Maps, YouTube, Gmail, Contacts, Calendar, and Talk. With an Android phone, everything is made simple. Once you log in with a single sign-in, all your Google Apps are available and automatically synchronized with the web. You'll never have to log in again. You can still protect all your stuff by creating a screen lock pattern like this one. Let's say you just met a new friend and you want to add her as a contact. Let me add Kate, a cyclist I met on my ride last weekend. I can add Kate's phone number, email, address, and more. All Google Apps on Android are fully synchronized, so whatever you do on your phone appears on your computer and vice versa. So when I save Kate's info on the phone, in a matter of seconds, it will appear on the web. This also means that all of Kate's info is safe and always available. So even if you lose or break your phone, there's no need to panic because you're always synced to your Google account. So after I log in and unlock my new Android phone, all my information is safe and immediately available. See? Kate's info is still there. This is true for more than just your contacts. Your calendar events, emails, IM chats are all synced between the phone and the web. If I create an event on my computer, like my bike ride with Kate this afternoon, Shortly after, it will appear on my phone. There, I just got a notification on my status bar. The status bar is where I get notified of new emails, new IM messages, calendar events, text messages, and so on. In a single swipe, you get an update on everything, without the need to check each and every one individually. Oh, here, Kate's just confirmed our bike ride plans. To answer Kate, I've got many options, and you can find them all on the Contacts app. I can text, IM, email, and, of course, call. I'll reply with Google Talk. One last cool thing about Google Apps on Android, with just a couple of clicks, you can get a map of your contacts address. Now, Kate said we should meet near the second cement anchor on the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm not exactly sure where that is, so I'll use Street View to find the exact location. Ah, that's where it is. Time to hit the road. To learn more about the Google Mobile products on the world's first Android phone, the T-Mobile G1, visit mobile.google.com slash Android.